Marcy here with foodietown.ca. In this episode, Taryn and I head to Richmond for 24 hours of eating. And this is our first trip since the devastating floods and mudslides as they still clear the highways. And we cannot forget the beautiful scenery. We're so happy to escape the Okanagan for 24 hours and head to delicious Richmond. trail um, so they are shrimp and pork tapioca dumplings uh, and then you pour over the sauce so uh, Taryn are you excited? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not happening. There you go you did it. Dumplings. You have to be careful because they're literally filled with broth and pork, and so it's a slurper. You're gonna get a little messy, but it's super good. This is my first time, so don't judge me. <laughs> mm. Incredible. Salty. That rich broth. Oh my gosh. It's worth it. And you would never who would have expected it to be in the middle of a food court in Richmond. This whole thing. It was like 10 bucks. It really uh, comes at you fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even just the um, dumpling dough is really good. Mm -hmm. Nice and chewy. It tastes really good. Nice and salty. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. 
much better than the tapioca dumplings. <laughs> yeah, this I can actually eat a mouthful. So we've just been sitting here after the dumpling trail, the two hits that we did. Uh, we've just been crushing these back. Mm -hmm. uh, we got them from a winery stop in Abbotsford and it was the cutest little place. Seaside Pearl. There you go. And um, yeah, so we've just been chilling in the room. We're getting ready to go soon. It's walking distance from where we're staying. It opens in 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it and I'm hungry. How about you? Yeah, Taryn is a little bit more of a sensitive eater. So I'm gonna try to push her boundaries this evening. Okay, I thought you were talking about spice, and I was like, <laughs> I have to drive home tomorrow, so let's not do that. No, but, nothing um, too spicy, but definitely, um, I want I want you to keep your keep your <laughs> your imagination open. Eyes in the sky.
Taryn, you chose? So I went with the cookie butter and Hong Kong milk tea. So this is obviously the cookie butter. It has an awesome outside crust and this is the milk tea. This is huge. <laughs> the ice cream is so good. It's exactly what I thought it would be. It tastes like cookies. Almost like dad's oatmeal cookies. Oh. That's what it reminds me of. This? I don't think I squeeze it in there. Let me squeeze it over top. Okay, ready? <laughs> now we know what this chair but Katrina went through. Delicious. Strawberry Nutella 282! Your bun is done, hon. Perfect. How many tests can I get this? The inside is, um, so the outside is crisp. The inside is like spongy. This, this awesome icing is not too sweet, so flavorful, um, dragon fruit, lychee, you gotta try it. So. Good morning! <laughs> it is the morning after the Richmond Night Market and uh, it, went, it was very successful. We got to try a lot of different foods. I kind of had a little hankering for the sweeter stuff and then by the end I wish I had tried more savory things. It was a lot of fun though, I really enjoyed it. Um, and another day, another market. We're heading to the Richmond Public Market now. It opens at 9 a.m. and let's go. Let's do this. Hong Kong style crab, deep fried crab. Mm. Really tasty. Karen's a little worried about eating it because um, there's a little there's a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of a kick with these chilies. I don't think I think you can handle it, Taryn. But um, wow, that's good. That's really good. Very flaky crab meat. Let's go right here. Really incredible. So very fresh. This is steamed pork bun. I'm very looking forward to this. Mm. Oh wow. It tastes like the filling from the soup dumplings yesterday in this pork bun. But the pork is so flavorful, so tender, juicy. It's really good. I got stuff all over my face. That's excellent. <laughs> it's not too bad. Mm. I love that dough. Mm -hmm. 
I want to try this one. So this is the pan fried pork dumpling. I love pan fried stuff. You like that one better? Mm-hmm. This has more texture. Okay. It's, so it's the same thing. Yeah. Exact same thing. Nice. So good though. Mm. Okay, so we're at the Richmond Public Market today. And we got here as soon as it opened, which is 9 a.m. You don't need to do that, as we learned. But one thing though, the places typically open around 10, 10.30. When they open, we suggest going around to each location, ordering your stuff, because each place takes about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on what you order, uh, in order to get everything fresh and made for you. So um, kind of strategically hit them, order, go to the next place, order, so that that way, at the, when everything's ready, you can just go bing, bang, boom, pick everything up, eat, and especially because you're going to be waiting anyway. So just strategically choose your locations is what I'm saying. Okay, so to further to my point, we are standing, sitting outside of Peanuts and I really want to try some of their cakes. Um, there was only one left and it was red bean. 40 minute wait because everybody who already knows what to do here, not like us, have been pre-ordering the cakes before they're even made. So make sure you get to each location, pre-order your food, know exactly how long it's going to take because it's going to take some time no matter where you go and um, be organized unlike us but we've got the original milk tea I'm looking forward to it there we go and turn you've got a green tea ice cream tea oh yum delicious delightful perfect for this morning cheers well after a weekend of eating we are on our way home I am stuffed. How about you, Taryn? I could do without any more fried foods for the rest of the month. <laughs> and uh, I could use a coffee. I don't know about you. I could use a hot, a hot tea. Hot tea. A hot peppermint or green tea would be great. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. First time in Richmond area, like actually spending some serious time there exploring the food scene. Normally we just fly out of the area so because uh, there's the International Vancouver Airport is located there so um, yeah, I think we had a really great time. Uh, lots of food, lots of eating. In 24 hours we did all that. So if we don't recommend that we recommend spending some time here but uh, it was fun to come and check out and escape Kelowna for 24 hours. So. Thanks for joining. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe, share, and click the bell.